Welcome back, and we'll have a last look at your forecast in just a bit, but first, it's time to get you up to speed. Today, the nation honors the legacy of slain civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Across the country, hundreds of thousands of Americans will commemorate Dr. King's 86th birthday with church services and tributes. Civil rights activist Al Sharpton and his National Action Network will hold Be Like King events honoring and promoting the work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Now, the group will participate in a wreath-laying ceremony for the NYPD officers who were killed by a gunman while sitting in their patrol car in December. The FBI and Secret Service investigated shots being fired near Vice President Joe Biden's Delaware home. Members of the Vice President's security detail heard the shots ring out and saw a vehicle speed away. The Bidens were out for the evening at the time. Surgeon at, surgeons at a Houston, Texas children's hospital will hold a newser to update the status of conjoined twins, Natalie Hope and Adela, Adeline Faith Mata. Now, the girls underwent a five-hour surgery back in December to prepare them for a separation early this year. A suspect's on the loose after escaping from the back of a Shreveport cop car. Police say Crescencio Cusada busted out the back passenger window of the car to escape. If you've seen him, you're asked to contact authorities immediately. Crime Stoppers is offering a $500 reward for his arrest. An 18 is shot outside his home in a Shreveport in Shreveport after two men tried to rob him and his sister. Now it happened around 11:30 Saturday night in the 1700 block of Creswell Avenue. The teen is okay, but the gunman remains on the loose. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. An apartment fire leaves 15 without a home. Turns out there were no working smoke detectors in the Mikado apartments in Shreveport. The Red Cross arranged for the families to stay in a nearby hotel. NBC6 News has reached out to the apartment's owner and property manager. The calls haven't been returned. And the crew of Harambe celebrates Mardi Gras in Shreveport today and honors Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now, festivities begin with a hopes and dreams breakfast, then a free concert in front of the Caddo Parish Courthouse at 11, and the parade kicks off at 1. Your time right now is 6.57, and you are up to speed. And what can we expect if they're going to the parade today? Well, regardless of what they're doing today, weather-wise in the Arklatex, everything looks to be pretty nice. Take a look at temperature readings across the area and more. Let's go back to temperature. There you are. 38 degrees in Marshall, 28 in Dequain, 42 degrees in Minden. Now you take a look at satellite radar imagery. All quiet across the area this morning time. I think as the afternoon comes around, we'll still keep around mostly sunny skies, maybe a few high-level clouds in place with forecast highs running in the upper 60s, close to 70 degrees later on today. All in all, it looks like a pretty decent Monday. Pretty decent, pretty awesome. I love this warm weather. Yeah, me too. All right, that's going to do it for us. Have a happy holiday. So today shows up next. Weather Authority, certified the most accurate forecast in the Arctic.